Hello, this is your beautiful kid, and this is your beautiful boss chick tip of the week. I want to talk to you about this. Don't let COVID-19 stop you from your successes. Let me tell you something. If you off work right now, use this time to better yourself. Get yourself centered with, with your spirituality. Get your credit and stuff done. All you can do is send a letter to the credit bureaus. I mean, hey, they're not there at the credit bureaus. They're home, too. They have families, too. Now, so the law states in 30 days, if they don't respond, they have to remove the stuff. If you're a business owner, your business is sold. Figure out ways that you can grow your business and expand your business so next time you can make sure that you always remain recession and pandemic proof. You know, use this time if you are still working. To, to make yourself a valued added employee in the workplace. Therefore, the people, the management have realized some of those people that was getting all those big checks really didn't need them, and they belong to you, okay? This is the way for you to get your raise. It's a come up. Let this coronavirus be a come up for you, okay? Kieta loves you. Check out my, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Real Talk with Kieta. Love you. Go in. Hello, this is your beautiful Kieta, and this is your beautiful boss chick tip of the week. I want to talk to you all about what it is right now to be a friend. If you know someone who, you know, may need some help or they need, they don't have a car, call them and ask them if they need something from the grocery store when you go. If you know a person that's older that may can't get to the store every now and then and you know that, you know, call them beforehand and ask them, what are some of the things that you want to low on so when I'm at the grocery store I can get those things for you. You know, that's being a friend. If you have a friend that you know that really don't have a lot of people in their lives, call your friends and ask them how they're doing. Not just how you're doing, but Pick up the phone and FaceTime. Let me see your face. I want to make sure that you are doing well and you're looking well. Do that. Do more reaching out to people and not just reaching out saying, hey, you okay? They're going to tell you they're okay a lot of people anyway because a lot of people have pride and I get it. But why don't you FaceTime? And let me see your face. I just want to tell you that I love you. And if there's anything I can do, uh, let me know. If you need something from the store, let me know while I'm out because you're not a burden. Do those type of things and people can appreciate it. Hello, this is your girl, Kieta Mayweather Gamble, and I just want to talk to you all about a couple of things because I was listening to Plies, and it was really funny what he said, and it's true. I think we do need a couple of lists, okay, that's essential. You know, I realize that we all are one, but black people and white people do have some different things that we deem essential. So let's talk about this black list. I think this is what I think that this, the governor should make essential here. Uh, to open up black-owned hair stores, beauty supply stores, Okay. Um, let's open up these black owned salon barber nail shops. Now, when I say that, I'm not talking about, I'm just talking about what's essential for the black community. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Open up some of the blue crab spots. Okay. You know, you know, black folks like seafood and they like to cook out and have some crab balls. Open up the parking lot for the churches. You know, folk like, you know, black folk love going to church now. So go ahead and open the parking lots up. Let people come to the parking lot and listen to the pastor. All right. Let's just do that. And you got to have the corner store, okay? The corner store needs to open up, and the corner store can open up with the following conditions. That they sell beer, some liquor, menthol lights, cigarettes, uh, have the check cash, and all bill payments, and a slot machine or two. That'll work for some black folks, okay? I'm just telling you, that's essential. If we can have that, then we'd be good, okay? Now, I know white people are going to have a little different list, and I'm going to give you all this list, okay? The beaches for the white folks, we all know you like to surf, okay? And I, I get that because, see, black folks, we can exercise at the house, but okay. You know, um, the golfing and the putting greens. Okay, I know that's essential. You won't have that. That's not a problem. Tanning salons. We all know white folks like to get some color, don't we? Okay, tanning salons. Okay. Now, hunting and camping. Yeah, you know, you know, white folks like to shoot guns and they like to hunt. You know, white folks don't have a problem with getting a, a camper and playing like they're homeless over the weekend. You know, we breath black people work too hard, so we don't like to play like that. But so let them go ahead and open up the parks and stuff, the recreations again, so they can have them. They can play homeless on the weekend and they can go hunting. And then, of course, let them have the cocktail party so they can continue talking about amongst themselves how to keep the rich even richer, okay? Anyway, that's my essential list for the blacks and whites, and uh, I don't know. That's just something, and I'm having fun, but y'all know some of this stuff on this list is true. <laughs> I'm sitting outside on my porch. Y'all can see this is my porch. I like my little... Y'all see my little... Stop, look at my little... Y'all know I like to decorate. That's my little... Y'all know I kind of get a little extra with stuff. But listen, I'm on my porch right now. And I want to give you all some information. I think that I think that's 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 good. I wrote a little list. And you all can share this with others. But I want to tell you that don't let COVID-19 stop your successes, okay? And I'm going to give you some examples. Number one, if you are out of work right now, okay? Don't forget to apply for your unemployment. To keep looking for a job, okay? To work on your resume. But I also want you to send out those letters to the credit bureaus, okay? Uh, like I told you, they're at home, so they're not going to be disputing everybody. They got families, too, so they only have 30 days to respond back, or they're going to take the stuff off your credit report. That's number one. Uh, number two, 
I want you all to start working on your business plans and your dreams. Start writing this stuff down. You have time, okay? Think about it and manifest it. I'm telling you, and it can happen. Okay, number three. Call your creditors and ask them for some deferments. You know, your credit card companies, many companies are doing many things to put the, the loan that you owe, the amounts you owe on the back end of the loan. Make sure that you don't have it where they actually tell you that they want it right away, but you can call them and it's called a deferment. They'll do it. You know, they do it all the time. Okay, um, number four, I want you to center yourself and center your thoughts and center your spirituality. I'm telling you right now, you have to do that because when you learn, and I'm not just talking either now, and I'm serious. When you really learn, I don't care what you call them. You can call them Yahweh, you can call them Jehovah, you call them, you know, God, you call them, whatever it is that you call them, that's fine. Because we all know we're serving one, and that's the most high. So it don't matter to me what you call them, okay? As long as you know that that's the only one that you can call on, okay? But I want you to center yourself with that, and I think that's very important. Um, people go to church all the time, that don't make them good people. You know, that don't make them Christians, and that don't make them good servants of the Lord. Because there's a lot of mean-hearted and mean-spirited people out I'm telling you right now, they be the first ones at the church house or wherever they go to worship at, they worship sinners, and they're just not good people. They're not kind-hearted. They're judgmental. And those are the type of people I'm telling you right now that you want to stay away from, all right? Because you need to be concerned about yourself and your family, loving yourself and loving others in spite of. That's, become, that's becoming more spiritual and closer to the Lord. Okay, and then I want you to start spending quality, quality time with your family. Uh, for example, like I said, my baby, she likes to, she's into fashion. So she went and got some jeans, cut the jeans up, put bleach on them, buying all the kind of spray paint stuff, doing that in, in front of the, in the yard. That's fine. She put it on her little social media stuff, texting her friends, showing the stuff, and they want a pair now. So she says she's selling them for $5. I personally think it's a little too low, but hey, you know, she has me set up a cash app. So they want to send her the $5, like I told her. If that's how she's going to do business, you know, think about readjusting your prices because when you give stuff away too cheap people don't value but anyway that's just my opinion i'm showing her how to do business already i need to do that okay and but what i'm telling you this is a tough they're going to remember they your children are going to remember these type times they're not going to remember i promise you that you all had to stretch chicken for five days they're not going to remember that you all couldn't go to disney over the weekend they're not going to remember that you all you know had to, uh, I don't know, maybe forego going on vacation. They're not going to remember all that. They, what they're going to remember is the time you spent with them. They're going to remember mommy and daddy actually took time with the, to help me work on my hobby. Mom and daddy thought enough of me to spend some time with me so they can walk me through these things. Mom and daddy thought enough of me that they wanted to know what I was interested in, and they actually sat there, and they, they helped me, and they worked with me, and I got to help mommy and daddy do some stuff too. These are the things that the children are going to remember. Okay? So, therefore... We all know those are the things in life that matter. Now, for small business owners, I want you to know that if your business has slowed down, I want you to also do those things I just said earlier, okay? But you can also work on your business credit too. You know, Experian and Dun & Bradstreet, you can also add some creditors on there, strengthen your credit so that when all things go back and start being a little more normalized, you can flex more off your business credit than your personal. I personally don't really use my personal credit for a lot of stuff. I use my business credit because I've strengthened that business credit and I know the importance of it. And so I for, have foregone a lot of personal responsibilities when it comes down to some business stuff. So that's what you do. Um, Let's see. You can also number two. number two. So I want you to make sure you send out some emails to your customers and assure them that you're coming back even stronger. Also, you can do a survey. Survey your customers and find out what more do they want to see your business do so that they can be happier customers and what would make them shop at you with, with you before they'll shop with someone else. Well, we already know the personal service is always important. People love how you treat them and that's what's important. That's what builds your customer base. I want you okay. To continue to support your employees if they laid off or their hours are cut. Continue to build them because th those employees are the cornerstones of your business. So I want you to do that. I want you to go to SBA and the different loan, the banks and stuff like that. And you can Google a lot of different places that's offering different small loans and stuff to, to small businesses and do that. And if they do, uh, you are blessed to get those type of loans. I want you to share that money with not, I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying all of it. I know that now. Come on now. But I mean, don't, don't, don't be, don't be selfish enough not to give your employees something. Okay. Because unemployment may not be enough of it, especially too, if they have lower hours, they still have family. So, you know, you have to take care of those that have taken care of you. People don't leave uh, businesses. People leave managers. Okay. If they love you, they love how you treat them. They'll be loyal to you. They won't go anywhere. So that's what's important. So do that. And I want you to, um, 
call up your creditors to your landlords and different stuff and see if you can actually put um, have, get on a different payment plan because they have an issues too i know you all just seen macy's getting i mean neiman Marcus is getting ready to file for um bankruptcy they're talking about places like macy's may not come back it's a lot of different places that's having problems not just you cheesecake fact even went to their landlord nice one could they uh burke something out with the rent so don't feel like it's just you okay everybody's dealing with this and you are part of it so just because they big they have the same problems it's all relative and for those okay? of you that's still working do all those things i told the first person the, the first stuff the, in the first message to do but also i want you to make yourself more valuable in the workplace and that's by taking on more responsibilities let me tell you something the management is going to see what you do and they're going to realize what kind of value added energy and successes you you add to that business and people look at stuff like that i'm telling you i'll pay it every time if that would when i see someone bringing value i will pay every time this is the time for you to ask for a raise after you take on this responsibility and show them how valuable you are because what they're going to realize is some of them other people that was paying all that money they're not essential you are and so therefore they're not losing the money because they're going to just pay you some more money that's how you do that because they want you to stay you've already proven yourself you already proved you can stand up in the paint so that's what you do and let me tell you something i want you to make sure you give management um some new products and new, new ideas and new services so that the business can also survive next time we have a type of episode and that this business can become both recession and pandemic proof that's what you all need you all need to make sure that you become both recession and pandemic proof and that's what you can do so give your management those ideas those key points and those ideas and those business owners, owners too you do the same thing come up with some new products and services because you have to stay busy and working people need to get paid and we need to make sure that we keep this economy going make sure that your business the new product and service that you offer that with these new ideas make sure that as business owners you all start making sure you create new services and products that are pandemic both pandemic and recession proof but anyway so this gym for these people that are still working come up with some ideas do that because you want to get your colleagues back to work because the colleagues have some issues they have they have families too and if you love your colleagues i know y'all don't like all of them but look it's for the good of the company if they all get to come back that's something okay so you want to make sure that you do your best i want you to show up every day and show out so that these people can get back to work and they can support their families too because remember you are blessed to be one of the ones that's still on the payroll all right so those are my tips for that part of it now I guess you all are going to follow me because I'm getting ready to go to the grocery store because, you know, I got to do my cooking for you all. Listen, I'm getting ready to go inside right now to the grocery store and go shop. And I know you all may think I'm overreacting, but I'm so grateful and so blessed. I get to go to the grocery store and I get to buy, get to buy some food. Isn't that right, Taylor? Yes. You, know, you happy? Yes. You want anything in particular? Fruit. Fruit? Okay, so listen, while we're doing this, listen, I'm going to show you how you can still be cute and safe, okay? See this? Uh-oh. Sorry. <laughs>